Hello everyone, this is my model of the digestive system. I'll be going over what I use to make this, this, this model with using this wall right here. And then we're going to take a look inside the digestive system itself to see how it operates from the inside. Now without th further ado, let's get started. Over here on the far end, we have the elements of the mouth. Teeth the surface of the mouth, and saliva. The teeth will be simulated through pistons and end stones. Pink clay will represent the mouth and the stomach surfaces, as long, along with the esophagus. Sorry, I didn't put that there on the sign. Snowballs will simulate saliva inside the mouth. Slime simulates mucus inside the esophagus and the stomach. Obsidian will be the food that is inside the stomach. Lava will be the stomach acid, which is also in the stomach. An iron door will simulate a gateway to certain intestines, like from the stomach to the small intestine, and then from the small intestine to the large intestine, etc. Orange clay will be used as the surface of the small intestine. And fence will be the villi inside the small intestine. Water will be the liquid that is also inside the small intestine. Netherrack is for the surface of the large intestine, as you can see. And dirt is poop, which is back there behind the sign. I used brown clay as the liver, which is right there. I used green clay as the gallbladder, which is right there. And I used the sponge as the pancreas, which is just under the stomach right there. I also used three different creatures to simulate different things inside the digestive system. These zombies will simulate germs that are inside the digestive system. I mean the stomach, mainly the stomach. Squids will represent enzymes that get into the small intestine to help break down food, along with bile made by the liver and stored by the gallbladder to help break down fats. Chickens will represent the blood cells that, ca that the villi transfer nutrients into so that they can carry that nu those nutrients all over the body. Now. Let's head in to the mouth. So here's a little display of my digestive system. Pancreas, gallbladder, liver, large intestine, small intestine, stomach, esophagus, mouth. And if we go inside the mouth, we see this lever, which it opens and closes the mouth. The mouth's job is to have food mechanically digested by crunching it up. Mechanical digestion is when your body uh, physically breaks down food. There's also chemical digestion in, digest, digestion in the mouth using your saliva. Your saliva has enzymes in it that help you break down food in your mouth that makes it easy enough to swallow as you can see by the dispenser shooting out snowballs now if we go down the esophagus it's it smooth muscle caused us to be pushed down until we reach the stomach now, I couldn't get that pushing action, so I simulate that through falling. And then, we end up in the stomach, which is lined with mucus so that the stomach acid doesn't eat away at the outer walls of the stomach. Now, surprisingly, the stomach is it has the most amount of mechanical digestion. I know, right? It's very surprising. I thought the stomach was all chemical digestion. But I was wrong. The main function of the stomach acid is to 
um, make sure that food um, dissolves into a liquid that can be easily absorbed by the small intestine. Its secondary job is to get rid of any germs. Just like this. See? No more germs. And um, the stomach uses mechanical digestion to churn the food, the obsidian that I'm currently standing on, to um, break down, break it down and turn it into a liquid. Now, if we go down into the stomach, there are small passageways that will lead us to the small intestine. I think I found it. Now, as we go along, um, this little tube that carries us into the small intestine, more stomach acid is d dissolving the food so that the small intestine can break it down. Uh, here we are, the small intestine. There, much better. Now we can actually see. The small intestine's main job is to help absorb any nutrients that um, are here in the in the small intestine now, and get rid of any extra digestive stuff that didn't get digested by the stomach. That uses bile and enzymes that are stored in the liver and pancreas. Now, as we go here, we have a representation of the blood cells holding nutrients and carrying them to the rest of the body. We keep going along, we will eventually end up in the large intestine. The large intestine's job is to remove any water that may have gotten that may have gotten into the large intestine. That is to solidify any waste products that made it this far into what we know as feces or poop. It's also so that you don't have uh, too much water in your large intestine. If you have a watery poop, it means something's wrong and you need to go to a doctor. Now, as we travel along, you'll realize, wait, what is that hole right there? That is your anus, where you get pooped out and you end up as dirt. Now, I really hope you liked my model of the digestive system. And I'll... And... Goodbye.